Hi Ash, how are you? I hope you are really well. I was so much exciting about this project, I decided today in the Easter time go check specially for you some plot of land, what I think so is will be amazing for the Taj Mahal project. So you will see the couple of different things. I will introduce you James, he will explain you about the land. The second thing, I also take with me my small beauty, my quadrocopter, so you can see everything from the sky, how it looks this. I hope you will enjoy this. Hi Ash, um, Pavel told me all about the Taj project, I think it's amazing. Um, the first thing that I kind of started thinking about though is what do you need, you know, what are your requirements for somewhere like this? So in this whole video what you're going to see is the fact that we've kind of thought about the transportation and the time it takes to get to this site. We thought about privacy and how you're going to interact with the neighbours here. We thought about what the actual land is going to be and how flat it is and how usable it is, what the access is. We thought about the power, we thought about a lot of different things. Um, and throughout this video we're kind of going to direct you to one thing to the other. The first thing I'm going to talk about actually um, is the fact that you need flat land. Now if Pavel can spin around a little bit, what you actually see is the fact that we're standing on a 10 acre site and you can see here there's a little bit of a gradient, just a little bit, um, but if you can see just beyond there there are some trees. Um, this is easily not through, the only reason the trees are there are to keep our friends, the cows, uh, into the, just this half. But it does actually open out and it is a, it's quite a square plot, so it's a, it's a usable plot. This isn't one where you're going to have to think about things too much. Um, and that is perfectly level. Um, there is a little bit worry when you think about perfectly level, you think, is there a flood risk? And there isn't. Um, there is actually a river, the River Thames and another one, Jubilee something. Um, these were actually built to take the floodwaters away um, and also this is too high up for it. We're speaking to the local neighbours here and the fact is they've never ever ever even come close to having even soggy ground, let alone flooding. The second risk, if we can spin around again, is the fact that we will take a photo of this because I think the, the, the power was interfering with the camera, but the fact is that uh, you've got three phase power there. So this is on your land, um, it's right next to it as you can see. So this is something you can actually use for the wedding venue to get the power. You're not going to have to spend 50, 60, 70, 80,000 trying to get that inbuilt because it's already there. We thought it through. Um, what we're about to do now, before I kind of talk any more, is actually get quad, um, the quadrocopter with Pavel and we're going to fly this right up into the air so that you get an overview of the site so that you can see and get a feel of what we're talking about so when we talk about the different other things like for example the access and things like that you know exactly where they are and what we're talking about so that's what you're about to see Okay, this part of it um, is really just to point out the fact that we got water. Obviously I spoke earlier, or depending on how we edited this, I did speak about the fact there's power, but there's power and water for this site. A little thing we want to mention is actually this is the entrance to the plot of land that we just showed you, um, but this is another one. Now you're going to see a video of the quadrocopter shooting up there because there's actually a plot of land up there with a beautiful hard stand in. Um, there is a possibility as an opportunity maybe we could become kind of a car park because there's another access into the into the actual bit of land up there but we'll show you that in a second
Ash, this is a little bit of land which could be something extra. Now, at the moment, this can be accessed. So if I just go backwards a little bit, through that lane that the quadricopters just come up. So it's literally following up alongside, and these are the two cows, and this is half of that plot of land that we spoke about. This is half of the 10 acres, okay? Now, to move around, as you can see, plenty of old buildings, uh, plenty of barns, um, but crucially, every single part of this has hard standing. So this is perfect if you just clear all of this out. It's only a little bit of vegetation and a little bit of stuff, and actually, some of this is actually worth something as well. Um, and this could be a perfect place for car parking. So I just wanted to just show you this because it's something, it's just an opportunity. Um, and to run around again, the fact is, is that this plot of grass, as you can see through here, um, this plot um, is at the moment, is owned by someone, we've spoken to them. It's the landlady who is, at the moment she has uh, sublet this out um, to someone who kind of breeds and looks after and trains horses. Now speaking with her, they actually have weddings previously on this site. So it's not the, you know, the Taj project is way different, it's unique, this is why I love it. But the fact is, is that for this area, actually having a wedding is not something that's completely un unusual, it's not weird at all. There's a couple of different, you know, kind of like country manor houses, but plus the fact that even next door they have done one without complaint. Uh, and we spoke to the person that actually ran it. So uh, yeah, the second thing just to move back around is the fact that we I spoke about this lane, going back to where the car is. Um, but over here is another one. And what we're about to do is show you with the quadrocopter um, exactly where that goes, because this runs parallel um, to another side of actually the plot that we're about to show you. And it could end up being an in and an out for this car park uh, for your project. Ash, um, we just come from where the quadrocopter is. If you can see up there, that is a second uh, entrance into half of the plot that we're trying to show you. Um, the second half, um, which we're about to use a quadrocopter to uh, actually show you, is in here. I know you can't really see it at the moment, but the reason that we're actually into this bit is really just to show you how far away the Taj, the, the main hub, the noisy bit, you know the bit you're gonna get complaints from the neighbors, the noisy bit can be really far away from the other housing. If you can just have a look here, there is a field there, field here, field here, horses over here, another field and a house in the far distance, and the other one there is there. We're talking probably you know, a good half a kilometer between the two houses. And this is perfect because you're not gonna get complaints about sound or noise, and you can actually enjoy the wedding without having to worry about how you're getting on with the neighbors. Because from what we're about to show you, you can be deep in the heart of your land and, and avoid all those complaints. Right, buddy, um, we're on the second half of the land that we we're talking about. This is the land with the cows, um, literally just through this gate. Um, you've already seen it, the quadrocopters kind of showed you the rest. We've done a video of the oversight of this as well. It's just to show you that the, the video that we did earlier where I said about how far away it is, that's the closest the house is. It's really far away, so is there, so is there. So in this corner, if you just take out this hedgerow just here, if you can move the camera. He's not moving the camera. <laughs> this hedgerow, get rid of it. Um, 
if you have the, the Taj, the, the main, the noisy bit, right in this section here, not only have you not disrupted any of the trees at all, but you are so far away from everything else, it's the perfect place. You're gonna get maximum security, uh, security, sorry, maximum privacy, and you're going to, you know, it's just a perfect place for it. So to look at it, this is obviously the flatter piece, and it's the main piece of land. Um, and obviously they, they already connect through a couple of different gates but you can always remove them anyway um, there's no protection on the land at all um, but you know keep the trees because they're nice um, and that's pretty much the land what we'll do in a minute is we're gonna show you take you to this train station we're gonna show you a couple other things because obviously the connections and how long it takes to get to a site incredibly important but bear in mind this is on the cross rail it's going to be 38 minutes from the center of London to this site. That's incredibly fast. And at the moment, it's 17 minutes in the car um, to go from Heathrow Airport to here. So if you've got people flying in, families flying in from around the world, it's only going to take under 20 minutes before they're on site and they're enjoying your Taj project. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 